and it's time to sing. Stand up with me and let's sing this song together. for you. Do you know how to count to seven? Seven's a big number. Are you ready to try it with me? Let's count together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, you did such a great job. In our story today, we're going to hear about a man that had to do something seven times. That's a lot of times. Let's read our story and find out what he had to do. Naaman is healed. Naaman was a great army commander. He was a brave soldier, but he had a problem. He had a terrible skin disease called leprosy. One day, Naaman's wife said, My servant told me you should go see the prophet Elisha. He can heal you. Naaman reached Elisha's home. Elisha sent out a man with this message. Dunk yourself in the Jordan River seven times. Then, you will be healed. At first, Naaman thought it was a silly idea, but the servant said, please go. This is not a hard thing to do. So Naaman dug himself in the Jordan River seven times. When he was done, Naaman's skin disease was gone. Naaman was so excited that he ran to thank Elisha for curing him. Naaman said, Israel's God is the only true God. That was a great story. At first, Naaman didn't want to listen and follow God. But in the end, Naaman chose to dunk in the water 
and go God's way. And we can too. We can go God's way even when it's hard. Why? Because God's way is perfect. Whose way is perfect? That's right, God's way is perfect. Yes, and we can ask God to help us go his way. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that Naaman chose to go your way, even when it was hard. Help us to follow you because your way is perfect. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I'm gonna say our memory verse. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31. Now let's try it together. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31. Good job, friends. In our Bible story today, Naaman was told to go to the river and take a bath seven times. That was really hard for Naaman. He thought it sounded silly, but he decided to walk with God and go God's way. So for us to remember how important that seven was seven times, we're gonna play a fun game with the number seven. So, are you ready to stand up? I wanna see if you can touch your toes seven times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep touching those toes. Six, seven. Did you do it? Way to go. Now, can you spin around in a circle seven times? Let's do it. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa, are you dizzy? I was dizzy after one time. All right, let's try another special set of seven. This time, I want you to run in place while I count to seven for you. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, nice job. Let's do one more. This time, can you jump really high in the air seven times? I bet you can. Here we go. Jump high. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You did it! Oh my goodness. I had so much fun watching you and doing those fun things with you as well. We're learning that we should go God's way because God's way is perfect. When you choose to go God's way, you'll always head in the right direction. Now, as we end today, don't forget to check out our website, crosspointweb.org slash family for more family activities. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest videos. So great to spend time with you today, and I hope I get to see you again real soon. Bye.